I think the rebounding obviously is a, uh, the biggest part of the game. Uh, you get out rebounding 29 rebounds, you're not going to really. I th I'm surprised we were in the game. When we tied it, we were down 24 rebounds when the game was tied in the second half. Um, you know, you can't play like that. Uh, we have to get more. Barama's got to be able to contribute out there and rebound. And, uh, you know, he just uh, was out of the game almost without uh, a whimper. Um, we're not making the, some of the shots that we need to make, but the, the bottom line in this game was we, you got to rebound the ball. And you get out rebounded 29 rebounds, you're not beating anybody, anytime. Questions? You know, rebounding is going and getting the ball. You know, you got to go get it. We need to get do a better job with everybody rebounding. They have a guard that got 10 rebounds. We have to get more out of our guards. We got to get more out of everybody. But at the bottom line is we have to get something more out of the center position, Re at least rebounding for sure. Points are always nice, but we have to rebound. We start out the game, I think Brahma had two layups, missed them both. Um, had a couple good opportunities to get defensive rebounds, didn't get them, and uh, I, I, he just didn't look like he was moving. He didn't he get in, didn't get in position. He fouled a couple times by if he just moved his feet, he would have been in a better position. But uh, you know he's he's got to be able to contribute for us to be successful. We have to rebound better. I mean, I, there's no. You can ask a hundred different ways. Is we didn't rebound the basketball. So, seeing that Quincy was kind of the one big that was giving you a lot of activity on both ends of the court, how big was it to have him out there? You know, I thought he rebounded. He did some things. He gave up four threes, and his, you know, he's he just doesn't understand our defense yet. Um, but he does rebound the ball. I thought he got the ball inside three or four times and came up with nothing that he's got to be able to. Get something. Now he's in. He's under the basket. He's six, six, you know, six, seven, or eight, and he's 220 pounds. And he goes up and gets it taken away from him by a guard. He's got to be better in those situations. But for him and Bryson, I want to play both those guys, and they, their defense just isn't. They're not there, understanding what we're doing, and uh, we need them to get better. We certainly need them to play better. I thought this team would take a while. It's going to take longer. I thought it would take 10 or 12 games. I don't know if it'll be done in 15 or 20 games. We're making too many. We've got two young guards that are not, just not doing the things that we need to do to win, and uh, our center's not. So we, we don't have a lot right now to look forward to to, to really pin our hopes on. I expect Marek to play better. I don't know why he's not. You know, I, I think he's in good position. They're helping off our guards in Dublin. He's getting the ball a lot, 15 feet with nobody guarding him. And we're not getting much out of that. Um, he's got to be able to get stuff in that situation. And he's not. But we have to play better at the four and the five positions, for sure. Well, it's what he's comfortable with doing. Nobody ever told him not to shoot. He's not making shots. Generally, when you don't make shots, you don't shoot. When you're not making free throws, you don't really want to shoot. And that's the case. He's not, he's just not making shots. He shot much better as a freshman than he's shooting now. I don't know whether it's because he's putting pressure on himself or worried about, <clears throat> worried about it or what, but he was a much better shooter <clears throat> as a freshman and a much better shooter last year. He won the Ohio State game, made two threes in the first half. The, really got us in front. He's just not comfortable. When guys don't take shots, it's because they don't think they can make them. No, I don't think it was that, that bothered him. I thought Joe got good looks. I thought really good wide open looks that he can make. And I thought Buddy got pretty good. They, they were up on him. They made it hard on him, but he, he got some looks. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've got to make some of those. I think these, you know, uh, these guys need some time together. They need games, and uh, it's not going to happen right away. It's going to take time. You 
you know, we haven't. He hasn't shot it well from the free throw line. He's getting to the foul line more than most guys. But uh, you know, the you know, Buddy missed two free throws. He never misses a free throw in practice. We're just not making shots. I think, again, I think when you're young, you lose a game too. You know, you're getting your nerves, your confidence goes down a little bit. Um, and uh, I don't think they're playing with confidence right now. I don't think they're shooting the ball with confidence right now. When you get off to a slow start like this, this is your slowest start since 96, I believe, with a young team. How do you try to get them back on the right track because you are so young? We just have to keep playing. And it's, you know, it's, it's not a good year to have a difficult schedule, but it's just the way the schedule worked out. Um, this team needed some games to get you. You know, we were really, obviously, we didn't play that well at home in the uh, first couple games that we played. Uh, in, you know, in the Colgate and Cornell, we we played really well against Bucknell. I think we needed a couple more games like that, maybe to kind of get a little better feel. But um, you know, when you lose and you're young, it, it affects you. There's nothing you can you know do to change that. Um, we're not playing with confidence. I, I thought, you know, Joe came off a, a game against Bucknell where he was playing with confidence, and he's not. He's he's a confident kid, but I just don't think he's playing with that same degree of confidence. He's getting some. He's getting pretty good looks. I think Buddy, we're not getting him enough good looks. Um, I thought he made two or three tough shots today, but somebody's got to score, and he's taking it on himself to try to get something in there. And Elijah's got to keep driving. They're overplaying him. He can't take the step back. It's not there. He's got to drive, get to the foul line. And he's got to keep playing. Like Both him and Marek have to make plays for us to be successful. You know That's really the key. We don't have a point guard that's going to make a lot of plays. Even Joe. Joe's going to get his shot, but he's not a, making plays. Uh, Marek and Elijah have to do that. That will enable us to get Bryson out there more. Bryson's not comfortable when he's bringing the ball up the court. They doubled him. They didn't even double him. He threw it away. I mean, he's just not comfortable doing that. And I think we need him to be out there because he can score. He's not showing that, but he can. He has done it in practice. Um, and he's a bigger body. He can help us a little bit going to rebound. But it's this is going to take time. I mean, uh, Anybody that didn't understand that wasn't really paying attention. We're, we've got a long way to go, and uh, that we're going to have to be, go through some painful time. Uh, that's what you do with young players. We, we need Joe, Bryson, and Quincy to play well, and that's three freshmen. There are not any teams that are good playing three freshmen. It's just unless they're top ten players or something, they, you can't win with those guys. Uh, Michigan's a great example. They got a bunch of veteran guys, and they're just beating everybody because they're got a lot of guys that have played, and that's important. But we've got a lot of young guys that we need to play. Uh, Barama hasn't played here in two years, and so it's his first year playing. Buddy played off the bench last year, and whole different situation. The only guy on our team is Elijah that was in the, the fire all last year after sitting out a year, and he's played well. He's doing a, you know, what he can do. Nobody else on our team is playing well, so we need to f get other guys playing well. I mean, El Elijah played really well the other night. It, we're not winning with that with one guy. We need these other guys to be able to step up and play, and uh, we're but the overall thing that, the only thing that really, I think we're going to get better movement offense. These guys are going to, we're going to make shots. But if we can't rebound the ball, you know, we're not, we're not winning. And when you look at last year, I mean, O'Shea got a, his share of rebounds. Marek did a better job on the boards. We weren't good on the boards. We didn't get beat on the boards like this. They're a physical team, really good rebounding team, better than a lot. But until this game, we were okay. But we have to do a better job. You you can't win games getting out rebounded by 29 rebounds. There's a lot of other things we can do better. I mean, we had a three on none fast break and didn't didn't convert it. I mean, you know, you you got to convert those situations. It's a close game, three on one. I mean, it's an easy play, and we didn't make it. Um, you know, things like that. You got to you got to do.
when you're when you're struggling. We're going to struggle. I mean, it's going to be a struggle every game. Like I said, we're tied second half, and we're getting out rebounded twenty rebounds at that time. That's not good. That's not good at all. No, I mean, it's a little of everything. Moving your feet better, getting position better, playing position better, going in. There was two or three plays Brahma didn't jump. There was a re <laughs> the last time I looked to get a rebound, you had to jump, and he didn't jump. So, I mean, I, you get, I had his coach yelling at him, jump. When you have to tell a player to jump, you got trouble. <laughs>